So I was telling that 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 that, that dude knew the. Uh, you know Luther? Yeah, I know Luther. Uh, Luther from the six. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Are you guys ready? Saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just. What's up? Let's go. Hello, beloved. Welcome to an all new episode of Vino Noir. Why do we call it Vino Noir? Because it is Noirs drinking vino. It is Noirs drinking vino. Indeed. Yeah, and we made a new friend. We made a new friend. Go <laughs> best friend. That's my best friend. Go best friend. Wine. Coza, y'all. The baddest. Mm. The biggest. Mm. 25 years in the game. Wine. Coza. Yeah, yeah. Super strong. And they said there's a little something. They did. Wine. Coza is evolving and now they've added a new learning platform onto the program. Yeah. Uh, and if you go onto the site, you'll be able to see this video there mm. as we walk you through one of the biggest and best varietals ever. Ever, ever. Cabernet Sauvignon. Ah. This just makes me a bit emotional just thinking about how amazing this red is. Indeed. Cabernet Sauvignon. I think that before we are able to talk about the grape, let's just delve a little bit into the history. Yeah. Cabernet Sauvignon is an amalgamation of Sauvignon Blanc and Cabernet Franc. Mm. Kind of happened around about the 17th century, purely by accident, mm -hmm. but was able to evolve and be able to make this very big, gigantic, resilient grape. Came to the country around about 200 years ago, though we're not exactly sure when it landed, yeah. and is the most grown varietal in this particular country, and one of the top two um, alongside Chardonnay. For whatever reason. And what makes this grape pretty awesome is the fact that it's quite resilient, right? Yeah. Um, it, it kind of survives most terrain. And what makes it awesome in, in its flavor is the fact that it takes a long time to ripen. And that's what gives you those big, bold flavors. Um, you hit you hit the oak, you hit dark berry fruits, things like that. Um, bit of cigar box in it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's what makes it such an awesome all rounded grape. And well rounded is a really nice description mm -hmm. for the grape in itself, but also its tannin nature, just kind of a very nicely balanced, but also unashamedly gigantic grape. 